in on a power hour. Oh, yes. Those of you guys who have been on a power hour with me know that it's it's all about call and response. It's important to make sure that you are getting this. But today I'm going to tell you guys, this is a special newbie cycle because we are talking about um, I'm, my plan is to teach you how to swim. And you'll hear something if you stick around. And what we say is just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Um, I have it turned off. You guys can unmute right now, but if we need to. Um, just for the sake of, of recording in time, we'll stick to the comments. But um, it's called swimming. Have any of y'all heard that? Drop, drop in the one in the comments if you've heard, just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. If you heard it, you'd be like, well, how do I swim? Like you're telling me just keep swimming, but I've never learned how to swim or truly taken the time to learn how to swim. Or when I was going through learning how to swim, I really wasn't learning how to swim, if that makes sense. So um um husband can we put the bikes away thank you guys my kids are upstairs riding bikes lord um but anyways it's saturday um they're not gonna like that but anyways so i want to welcome you guys if you don't know who i am i am your ambassador diamond leader rachel wiggum ambassador diamond is the top rank in the company is the top paid as rank we do have a rank above that called black diamond where you get paid six uh for six consecutive months a hundred thousand dollars a month plus income disclosure statement right through there um and if you make a hundred thousand dollars for six months consecutively you get the title called black diamond we have a few black diamonds our team is on the running to go towards that title and so you get to be a part of something so great that we get to change so many lives along the way um i have been with the business in 13 days, it'll be for eight years. And that's crazy for me because I was the person who every year and a half, I love sharing this, every year and a half, I would get an itch. And the itch was that y'all need to pay me more money. That's what I would say. Y'all know I'm talking about like, you're just unsettled. Like y'all not, y'all not paying me enough. Like I can't even pay my bills. Like what's next? Something has to be, I'm not willing to struggle for the rest of my life. And so I was looking for the next thing. I was looking for the next thing. Um, and so here I am. God brought me. It works. It was so out of my comfort zone. I have a master's in professional counseling. I was working as a children's mental health case manager. And it was like, oh, now you finna help people on a different aspect. And so when people say, is this sales? I guess technically it's sales, but I don't see it as sales because my background sets me up to help people change their life. And so that's what I do. I am in the, I am in the business of empowering people showing people how to take control of their life, teaching people how to become good stewards as I am learning how to do the same thing. I get to go on a journey of bettering myself. These products are amazing. First of all, drop um, a me in the comments if the products have changed your life in any way, shape, form, or capacity, okay? When I tell you that these products change my life, they change my life, like for real, they made me want to be healthier, they made me want to take care of myself, um, even down to that, I didn't drink coffee at all, for real, and to now I drink coffee every single day, because I mean, my Lord, and every once in a while I have to fast from it, because I mean, I'm obsessed with it, okay, listen, um, but just all the benefits that it gives me, to being able to to drink the coffee through two pregnancies, okay? When people are like, oh, I can't you? Yes, you can. These products are what helped me with my bounce back and my bounce through, okay? Bounce through the pregnancy with using these products. And I always tell people, if these products are not good enough for me to take while I'm expecting, then guess what? I probably shouldn't be taking them. I nurse two kids through the products. If these products are not good for me to be nursing my kids with, while taking them, I probably shouldn't be taking them. That's just a rule of thumb, right? Like that's something I had to just learn in life. If, if I can't use these, if my kids can't consume this through me, then I probably shouldn't be taking it, right? So that's just something. Our products are all natural, plant-based, non-GMO. So when people ask, like these products are natural, they are natural ingredients, like for real natural ingredients. They're like the no nootropics. It's a derivative of caffeine. I don't know if y'all know that, but it's, it's a form of caffeine. That's what the nootropics are. It just has a component in it that it's a brain food. It helps with cognitive functioning and nootropics is, is a, one of the main ingredients in our skinny brew. So, and I, I'm not super analytical. I can be, 
but it's important to know these things. And y'all, this is why it's so important to get into the room so you can learn these things, okay? You learn these things. These are spaces for you to learn. <sighs> And I feel like I'm supposed to say this today. These are spaces that you that are supposed to learn. And I'm gonna tell you one thing. If you want to drop a, uh, and I know old heads feel free to participate. But if you are new, and like I said, old heads feel free to participate. But if you are new and you really want this business to work for you, drop a one in the comments. I'm just gonna pause there. If you are new and you really want this business to work for you. Drop a one in the comments. Here's the thing, guys. If you really want something to work, you're going to have to know your morals and values, which is why on day one of the, the launch pad, we teach you our morals and values to see if you're even in alignment with us, right? So who, if you're not, if I just need, if, if you're not in the launch pad if you have not been added to or added yourself to because you should have had a link in your email to add yourself to the launch pad I want you to drop me in the comments so that we can drop the link so that you can add yourself to the launch pad so just be honest if you don't know what the launch pad is or you're not in the launch pad just say me so that we can get you the link and get you into the launch pad it's important it's really important but we know our morals and values OK, we're not here to change your morals and values, but I am here to wreck your life and change your your methods, because if your methods were working, you would be thriving. You wouldn't need this business. You wouldn't desire for this business to change your life. So be OK with your methods changing. They're going to change you. Maybe the time that you get up in the morning or the people that you hang around or the way you view something, or the products that you're taking, the, the moving your body. I don't, I don't know. I Honestly, my whole life is different, guys. Every aspect of my life, when I submitted it, it my, I became a better person. I needed to. I needed to shift everything that I was already doing over here, Hot Mess Express, just trying to get, I was trucking along. Y'all know what I mean? Like just making it happen. Whatever, what does that even mean? Like making it happen. You cannot make something happen in the way that it needs to happen if you don't know how it's supposed to happen, right? And a lot of times we believe that people are thriving in success when, when we have never defined what success means to us. So drop in the comments what you think being successful would, what is one thing that would make this business successful to you? One thing, one thing, just one thing. I know starting out for me, the first time I sold a rat, I was like, oh, oh yeah, I'm, I, I can do this. Because the way it was so easy to exchange, I was like, oh, and I just made $25? Like, praise the Lord. I ain't never made money that fast in my life. So drop one thing in the comments that would make you feel successful in this business. And I'm going to tell you this, this one thing that you drop, you're going to need to hold on to it every single day because it will evolve. That, that, that perspective of success will evolve. I can tell you what I think is successful, but at the end of the day, everybody, you're not me, right? So I can tell you the idea of success and I can put parameters and benchmarks in place. But at the end of the day, you have to decide what it means to be successful to you. Now, there is the difference between, hey, Rachel, I want to make this amount of money and me saying, OK, this is what it looks like. And then there's the, the difference between, hey, this would make me happy do, that having this much money or whatever and being willing to to free up what you believe it looks like in order to be successful. Do y'all know what I'm talking about? You ever um, felt like a family was uh, successful or they were happy and you, you're just looking from the inside out or, or whatever and not truly knowing what it really looks like or what they go through in order to achieve the success that they have? And there's this thing on TikTok <laughs> and praise God for a TikTok fast, but there's a thing on, on TikTok where this guy goes around and he asks people in really nice cars how, what they do for a living. Have you ever seen that? No. No. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just say I don't know why I'm on TikTok fast. Um, 
<laughs> but, but he does, he go around and ask people what they do for a living. And it's crazy because I think about Kobe. I was talking, we were talking to a friend yesterday about Kobe Bryant and how a lot of people just was just a Kobe hater, like just a Kobe hater. A lot of people are LeBron haters. Actually, a lot of people hate people who are really successful. Let's just be honest. But the more like his trainer has this book, his last book talks so much about Kobe and it talks about his work ethic. It talks about what he did behind closed doors and people don't even know the half or people don't like the Tom Brady's. Oh, haters on so many levels. He has haters. on People don't like him for no reason. Like so many levels. But when you hear the discipline that they have behind closed doors, the isolation, the small circles, true success takes more than what people are willing to give and to acknowledge. Do y'all get that? You have to give up to go up. And I, I'm not, I mean, I get it. If you're like, Rachel, I'm here for $500. That's fine. You know, float with the wind. So, because sometimes if you float with the wind, you'll make, you'll make money here and there. Like you really will. But if you're deciding, you drop that one in the comments and you're like, I'm serious. I want to learn this thing. I want some consistent extra income coming into my household. I want to be in control um, or as in much control as I can be over my life. Cause you know, God is in control, but I want to put, I want to put myself in a place to be able to take care care of myself. If that's the case, then you need to put yourself in a position that you are willing to do the one percenter things. And so my question is, are you a one percenter? Have you, and you'd be like, well, I don't know if I'm one percenter. You have to be it before you are it. Do you know that? You have to be it before you are it. And so sometimes you have to start speaking life over yourself and start to claim what you want to become. This is why we decree and declare ranks. I am Ruby. I am Diamond. It's because you have to be it before you become it. I've been saying, if I can encourage somebody's heart, I've been saying I was a Black Diamond since I was a Ruby. Y'all, I went Ruby in 2013. My E-Suite has not switched over to Black Diamond yet. Do you have that type of grit? But I have made over a million dollars. Over working on my second million dollars. And, and I made the million dollars was in, I think, five years, if not six, five or six years, six, five, five and a half, somewhere around there. It took me five years to make a million dollars and it works. Whereas at my job, it would have taken 30 plus. 30 plus to make a million dollars. I think if I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong, but I think it was 30 plus. And for real, for real, it's not 30 plus because they take my money without my permission. Taxes. I get to give my permission. I get to give my money. On, I get to give my money willingly. <laughs> Gotta get that. I pay taxes. I do. I do. I pay, I pay, I pay taxes. <laughs> Gotta find you a good CPA when you start making this kind of money. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Yes, yes. Okay, good. So here's the thing. How do you swim? How do you swim? Actually, I want to know what, what, what you got. Uh, please, if you've been here for a year plus, please do not respond. Thank you. How do you swim? Drop in the comments. I want to hear from these people who've been here for six months to a year. We're brand new distributors, please share because this is for you. How do you think, what does it mean to swim? What does it mean to swim? What does that, if I say, if I, if, if you were on a call with me and I'm like, well, just keep swimming, what would that mean to you? What, what does it mean to just swim? What does it mean to swim? It means to stay consistent no matter what happens. Yeah, but what does it mean to stay consistent to what? Keep doing the work. What is the work? Keep going. All right. Consistency. Yep. What are you being... Sign on three to show. Yes. So have that steps. That's good, Tasha. Have that steps of success in front of you and work on signing the three distributors and the six loyal customers. Misha says, wake up every day and do what I need to do to take care of my family. They're my driving force. That can that's a that's an umbrella description. Yeah. Keep pushing, sending messages. When I feel like I'm drowning, I have to take heed to what my upline has said, the basics. Okay. So Leandra, what are the basics? What are the basics? Show up, ready to work, consistent in steps to success every day is day one. That's good. PMF. Yes, Tamika. PMF. 
PMF, PMF, yes, SD, yes, PD, amen. So here's the thing, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, how do you swim? How do you swim? This will actually be released once it's the, the um, I get the, the rest of the um, formatting right. But I'm gonna show you guys this. This is what I use every single day. And I'm gonna show, like guys, I, before I had this, like actually this, I would make this every single day. I would write it out. So you can write this out. You can write this out. But I'm actually going to take a picture of it. And I'm going to. I would write this out, guys. And I could format it on the computer for you guys so you can print it out. But this booklet just makes my life so much easier. So I'm going to actually post it on the um, the Newbie Circle post for today so you can go see it. So go onto the squad page so that you can actually see the visual of it. Um, I'm going to spotlight my video so you guys can see me. So here's it. So this is what I do every single day. So for example, I'm going to go back. I don't really want to share people's names, but um, so for example, this one right here, right? There it is. So it might be backward, but it says post message follow up it's the formatting because it's crossed off and then this is host to post okay so every day i come through for the, these these circles mean one these circles mean five on this one and then these circles mean 10 and then these mean one so i write down the names of the people who do a host to post is it so i can go back and check on it no it's literally the, this book is called my receipts that's what this is this is my receipts this is how i get every day i know what i did based on this so if i send if i make a post today i, I mark, mark off a post and it's so small so i'm able to just take it with me wherever i go throw it in my diaper bag or whatever um messages when i send five new messages i cross off five when i and i can actually tally i was showing somebody this the other day I can actually tally it. So let's just say I was starting to do follow-ups and I, I got busy. I could come over here and I could mark off six in this space and come back and say, okay, just four more. And then I've hit 10. So it helps me track what I'm doing so that I can know that I've done my business. And I, here's the thing, y'all. I've assigned 11 loyal customers already this month. And I had, that's the third. Um, on the second, I only had five. I got up five post to post. On the, the third, I got up six. That was yesterday. Wait, that wasn't yesterday. On the third, I got up six. And then y'all, yesterday, I got a one. Like, it, it happens, but I still make sure to get through my messages, if that makes sense to you guys. So go look at it and get a notebook, just a regular notebook, and then just start to write out so you can know. I post, I message, I follow up, I get up 10 host to post. I post, I message, I follow up, I get up to post the post. What is your spiritual and personal development? Y'all, <laughs> I was just telling the leadership this today. If you do not, and I'm so serious, if you do not, if you do not, if you do not take care of your mind, you will not make it. Can I repeat that one more time? If you do not take care of your mind, you will not make it. You will not make it. How many of you guys don't have anybody in your family who is thriving in network marketing? Say me in the comments. Say me. Be honest. Thriving. And I mean like thriving where you see receipts, not, not what they say they do a good. Or they post them and they do. It's, okay, here's the thing. If this is the reality and the truth of your life, why wouldn't you be around people who are thriving? Why wouldn't you listen to people who are thriving? Y'all, when I started this business, I was a single mom and a single woman. Single mom, I had one kid and I had a man, but he was, we, we were not married. So my obligation to him was because I wanted to, it to be obligated, okay? Like he, I had my one responsibility was Rachel, her household and her child, Right? I now am married with three kids and a dog. Three kids and a dog. My life looks totally different, but my methods are this. My, my methods have changed, but my values 
It's, it's the consistency. Do y'all get what I'm saying? I get up every single day and I just keep swimming. And about a year ago, we put verbiage to this. It's maybe two years ago. We post. It's, it's good to be consistent. But I'm going to tell you this. What is the most important of PMF? Does anybody know? Can you drop in the comments? What's the most important for PMF? It's the follow-up. Absolutely. A hundred percent. It's the follow-up. It's the Brittany. Thank you. Double Diamond. Been here for seven years. It's the follow. It's the follow. It's the follow-up. It is so important. Like it's the follow-up. So you want to make sure that you pay attention to how you're following up with people. What does that mean? How many drop if not for new people only? How how many of you guys? have sent somebody a message and they didn't write you back and you felt some type of way drop a one in the comments <laughs> dude everybody should be dropping a one i mean it's everybody find your chat drop a one yes and how many of you guys if you're willing to be honest felt some type of way and didn't send no more messages for a little minute, drop a two in the comments because you was in your feelings. Guys, this is where I cue Rachel, okay? This is this is where I cue Rachel. Let me show you guys something. Y'all say I'm, in, I'm an ambassador diamond, right? I've, I've been here for eight years, okay? I'm, I'm, let, me, let me share my life with y'all. All right, so here's the thing. I haven't really sent no messages today, but I'm gonna take y'all through here, right? My first one from, from Friday, talking about she got a pass, whatever. So look at this. Do y'all see how many people have not replied to me? Do y'all see how many people have not, rep they ain't replied? Do y'all see how many people do not reply to me? Do y'all think I care? Do y'all see this? I don't care. They are just potentials. They are follow-ups. They are people for me to talk to. It's an everyday thing. Distributors don't reply, okay? You have to get beyond worrying about stuff like this. Sending my follow-ups. I'm sending initial messages. They haven't even added me as a friend. They're not responding. They look at it. It happens to everyone. You have to take your feelings out of the follow-up. It's all good. It's all good. You do your receipts regardless. Y'all, we do everything unto the Lord. Like that's a real scripture. And I wish people would truly embrace that. If I do my work, God will bless me. That's what I believe. It don't have to come from, it don't even have to come from this. I could, I could send all my messages, all my follow-ups and then put up a post and somebody sign up right away. I just continue to do the work. I can't teach the work if I'm not doing it. Do y'all get what I'm saying? I can't teach it. So like these people here, just these were me being nice. So these are people who were interested in something and then they stopped responding to me all, all together. My last thing here is to ask her to throw up a post. And I mean, I can always go. And if they have something that ain't ratchet, I can go and comment on their stuff so they can see my face. <laughs> something along those na that, that nature or whatever just come in and giving some content so that they can see me in their inbox and then I'll go and send a message but beyond that I mean it's not that deep move on to the next person does anybody have any questions about that I, I would love to know if anybody has any questions about that for real Who asked question? Actually, I'm gonna do this. I'm I'm gonna make it to where we can hear some voices. Ask a question because you have it. I know somebody does. 
At what point do you delete? In all honesty, do y'all see how I just use that? If you y'all not using the follow-ups and then like we we set this stuff up for y'all so that everything is here. The post that I just made yesterday is right here. The responses are right here. It's so convenient. It's just doing it and asking questions along the way. At what point do you delete? In all honesty, you use your discernment and wisdom. I, I, the only time I get to a point where I'm on a deleting spree is when I don't have space. If not, I just keep them on my follow-up list. Most of the time when I'm deleting, it's because they're either rude or I'm in my feelings or I need space. It's one of the three. In my feelings, need space or they're rude. So if I don't need space and I'm not at 5,000 friends, then see, she just saw, she saw my message that, fa that fast, right? So y'all, if, if I come back to this message today and she still saw it, I'm gonna ask, did I offend her? And then if she ignored that, then I'm probably gonna be like, you could probably go, especially if this is somebody that I got from a host of hosts. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know her like that. She don't know me like that. So I need room, so I'm gonna let her go. Hey, Rachel, can I ask you a question? Please. Um, just looking at your um, your your cheat sheet there, I'm not seeing everything that you have. Like I saw where you have pills and stuff like that, gummies, um, messages like that. And I have customers who may or may not drink uh, coffee or tea. So it's like, how do you maneuver through that? But I don't see what I'm looking at right now in my cheat sheet to where I can um answer those customers right away so that would be a screenshot okay they're saying that they don't drink tea or coffee or it's something as simple as let's just say it's from the who wants to lose weight in their stomach raise your hand right okay. yeah. so if i come here and they say no to call well first of all let me answer your first question so go go to the cheat sheet okay i'm What's here it? Where it says extra juice. Okay. Where it says post. Okay. That's where all of that is. Ah, but these these okay. are replies to the posts that you're putting up on your personal page. Okay. So how about this, guys? If you have not, if you didn't post any of these yesterday, I want you to go pick which one you're, you're posting and drop it in the comments and go put it, put it on your page. So everybody do that right now. And then we'll come back to the rest of your question, Misha. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. All right, so which one you doing? Drop it in the comments. Which one are you doing? The business, the gummies, TFXX, tummy trio, cleanse, or wrap? Drop it in the comments and then go post it. So you, I would say, well, I'm doing whatever. And then I'm going to come over to my page and I just posted this one, so I'm not posting, but I would say I'm posting TFXX one and I would come here. I would pull up my board, go to the newbie cheat sheet, extra juice, post, TFXX, boom. And if I wanted to add a background, I could. All right, we see you, tummy trio, TFXX. All right, cast. <laughs> Unless you did it today, go pick one of the ones from the boards and post it. Now, what I do, as y'all can see, is every person who comments, I reply to them and I say, hey, message you or check your inbox or something like that. And then I immediately press, I immediately come to the comments and um, send that first message. Where is it at? Oh, right there. Just like that. And that's where you ask for help, ask for help, ask for help, ask for help. Awesome. Okay, cool. Yes. Cool. All right. Now your other question, coffee or tea? So let's just say it's a tummy trio that you're talking about. See, this person probably hasn't even accepted my firm request. She hasn't. So I can send it again. But, um, and I know that because my circles are not filled in, the circles are hollow. 
Um, so that means that they're not my friend. So the, the, the messages aren't even delivered. It's probably in their spam or something. Um, so it, it's really pointless. She's not going to see any of the messages because she's not getting them. So I could always go back to the host to post that she commented on and say, hey, I sent you some messages, but you can't see them because we're not friends or something like that. So let's just say I was doing the tummy trio, right? So I'm coming through. I asked the opener question. They said all three, no to coffee, no budget. And I come here. And of course, this has the skinny tea on it. So what I would do is I would remove... And here's the thing, guys. Let me tell you something. Okay, hold on. I need y'all to see my face for this. Y'all, it doesn't matter if they drink tea or coffee. Can I tell y'all that? Can We just ask in terms of, the reason why, this is why I never ask, do you drink tea? Okay, can I, can please listen to me. Hear me, please hear me. We only ask, do they drink coffee? Because a lot of people drink coffee. And if they drink coffee, we want them to swap it. Okay, do y'all understand that? That is the only reason why we ask, do they drink coffee? Because if they drink coffee, y'all know coffee drinkers, they drink their coffee every single morning. So we want them to swap out the coffee. I don't care if you don't drink tea. That's why I don't ask it. I don't drink tea at all <laughs> I, don't, I hate tea when i'm look when i'm pregnant and i gotta drink that raspberry lemon tea i'd be like this is so trifling give me some lemon and some stevia and everything else i am not a tea drinker i don't like it but i don't care i bet you i'm gonna drink it to strengthen my uterus yeah do y'all does that make sense to y'all stop asking you if they drink tea we don't ask that we only ask coffee because there are people who have habits of drinking coffee. Now I get it. People can have habits of drinking tea, but that's not the same. It's not the same. They can still drink the tea they drinking, whatever. That ain't got nothing to do with what we're talking about. But that is why we ask about coffee. So do not ask people, do you drink coffee or tea? You are setting yourself up because we don't care. So if they say no to coffee, now, now it's different if they say, I don't drink tea. If they say, I don't drink tea, Send the screenshot to your upline. Stop trying to reply on your own. We've been doing this. We have rebuttals. Because now it's an investigative type thing, maybe. Or maybe just time to them just saying, like, I don't drink tea like that. That's okay. If you're willing, it's, I mean, it's not really. Because Rose, all day, baby. Rose, all day. Because be, a lot of people go to the lemon until they get on the phone with me. And then they like, I'm like, yo, I'm Rose. I'm not saying the lemon nasty is cool. But that Rose, drop the comments, what are you? Team team lemon. Who's had the, the skinny tea? If you've had the skinny tea, drop in the comments, what you, you team Rose or team lemon? Which, what team are you? <laughs> Man, Rose is lit. Y'all don't even understand. Well, I was able to be a product tester for the skinny tea. And I was obsessed, both cold and hot with the rosé. Rosé was it for me. It was it for me. Um, Breon, my husband, like lemon. I think, you know, y'all just don't like a little razzle-dazzle in your life because that rosé got a little, oh, at the end. It's so good. But I, I mean, it really doesn't matter. So I'm, I'm telling you, as long as they're willing to drink it, it's and they can drink it cold. If they drink it cold, they can drink it in like 30 seconds instead of sipping on it. You know what I'm saying? This is not a sip tea anyway. They shouldn't be sipping it. <laughs> this is not tea time, okay? This ain't the pinky out, take my time sipping on my tea. That's not what this is, okay? So uh, they can literally drink it in 30 seconds. Hey, Somebody Rachel. got a question? Yeah, I do, if possible. Um, so I had a guy ask me the other day, well, why does my money... Um, <laughs> why are you so worried about my money when I ask, you know, do you have a budget and whether it's open or not? And I'm like, okay. Um, Did I didn't send, really know how to respond to him. Did you send so a screenshot to your Ebola? No, I just left it. I was working. And so I didn't honestly have a free moment to do that. It was just, I saw it pop up and. Yeah, you got to send, send a screenshot. Going. Just okay. send the screenshot to your upline. And this is, this is just, in all honesty for everybody, this is just preparing yourself for, I'm going to meet you, so in, yeah, there we go. What, what you, you have to, you cannot be in your feelings with these people, 
Okay. It, it just, it just is what it is. So if you're, especially if you're not ready, you just send the screenshot. Okay. What I said is, and move on to the next person. It's really that simple. Um, and your upline will help you with what to say back. Personally speaking, if somebody was talking to me like that, I don't want you as a customer. And I would just say, no worries. I hope you have a great day. Didn't mean to offend you. Delete, move on. It's, it's really not that deep y'all like for real. So, but just send the screenshot to your upline and they will literally help you and walk you through it. Um, so yeah, thanks for asking that, but it's literally just a screenshot and send it on. So I'm telling y'all, it, it really doesn't matter if they drink tea or not. So stop asking that. And that's not in any of our scripts. <laughs> not one, not one of my scripts on our board for the team. Now, if somebody made up some script like that, you might want to reevaluate why they asking because I don't ask that. I do not ask that at all, at all. Now, if they get the tea and they say, I can't stomach this, then that's a conversation to have with my, my customer. Y'all get what I'm saying? That's, that's completely different. And can I add honey to it? Can I add stevia to it? Or even people, can I add sugar to my coffee and cream? Yes, add it, add it. Just consistently take it. You know what I'm saying? Like do what you got to do. Eventually you'll desire as you start to see results, you'll desire something different and you will do something different. Y'all, as we get to them to see their results, you will start to, to honor your products and your business and your body differently. I, I'm, I kid you not. And a lot of y'all have never taken pictures before, but it's going to start. You're going to start. I, I tell my customers all the time. I don't care if you want to share your pictures with me, but you need to take them for you. Period. Take them for you. I, you don't have to share anything with me, but you need to take them for yourself because you will not tell me that these products don't work and you don't have any pictures to compare and show yourself that they do. Y'all get what I'm saying? So so important. That was a great question. Any other questions about going through and doing your posting, your messaging, and your following up? I, I love the fact that somebody said, you know, the consistency, the, the, the when we talked about just keep swimming, but you have to know what it is that you're doing every single day and what you're remaining consistent with. If you fill your cup, y'all, if you fill your cup, when you are in a great mood, right? And I, I'm, I'm saying like a great mood where like, can't nobody tell me nothing. Like, it don't matter about what nobody's talking about. Like, I'm good, you know, like bipolar high, okay? You know what I'm talking about? When you're feeling great, feeling good, like I should. <laughs> okay, anyways, when you're up there, when you feel great and you're in this place where you're just giving, you're just giving, you're just giving, you're not looking back to see, oh, what like you know opening up the door for somebody going into the store and they don't have to say thank you you're just you're you're feeling like you're giving that is when you will have your best days in this business when you have but the only way you can feel that that overflow to give is when you fill your own cup y'all if you gotta wait to send messages and it, and this is not an excuse. This is not an excuse. But if you have to wait to send messages until you get your life together or go read your Bible plan for the day or whatever, go do that and stop allowing people to steal your joy. You know, I, there's she's not on here. But one of our diamond leaders, she said that she it was during prayer. She decided to take a call during prayer. She said, I will never do that again. She said that call messed up my whole day. I, I like I will not it's okay ain't, it ain't nothing that urgent it's not that urgent stop allowing people to take your joy away you're giving away your peace do not give away that is one of the biggest things we could teach you in this business is to stop giving away your peace stop giving it away stop giving it away and it's going to take time you're going to have to learn how to do it. But I promise you, you keep coming into circles like this, you'll feel more empowered to do it. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? Anybody ever been, been a part of a workout group crew? And you'd be like, I am getting it. And you get around people who don't work out or whatever. And you just be like, okay, I want to eat some ice cream too. It's, 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 it's going to happen. Y'all know what I'm talking about? You don't even eat ice cream like that, but somebody be like, let's go get ice cream or you go out to eat with somebody. Let's order dessert, split it with me. <laughs> be like, bro, I don't even, okay, here go a bite. You know what I'm saying? Like now you then ate the whole half of, ain't no brownie bite. This ain't Applebee's. You got the whole 
y'all ever had them big old cookies with the ice two scoops of ice cream like bruh don't a lot of water creek up in this piece like tripping because you're hanging around the wrong people and then you like oh feeling so bad like dang I didn't send no messages today oh or dang I didn't post today you hanging around the wrong people so you have to get into this circle. I don't care how uncomfortable you are. I want you uncomfortable. Don't, don't let me be your upline because we're going to talk and I'm going to say, I, I'm, I'm glad you're uncomfortable, but I'm here to hold your hand through it. I, I'm glad. And once I finally shifted to embrace and love being uncomfortable, my life changed, y'all. You have to be okay with being uncomfortable and just know our heart. That's the launch pad. Day one, you learn the heart of this team. We ain't playing. That is really the heart of this team. And if you ever encounter somebody on any power hour or anything that does not display the heart of this team, best believe we are praying them out and they will not be here that long. You just hang on and go to some another power hour. Okay. <laughs> they, they I listen, eight years, eight years we've been building this thing. Okay. So come into it and get into it. And how about you eat off of this tree because the fruit is good. The fruit is good, the roots are good, and people are su are successful here. And you have to give yourself some grace to learn how to do it. Any other questions before I show y'all the last thing today? Feeling good, like I should. What's the name of the song? Alexa, play Feeling Good Like I Should. Sunday Best by Surfaces. Right, anyways. All right, so I'm going to show you guys. So I'm going to walk you guys through a typical day, right? So Rachel gets up in the morning. She has her, and then as you, I, I'm going to have you guys ask any questions about this in the comments um, so that I'm able to walk you through it. So Rachel gets up in the morning. She may do some alone time. Well, not may. Lord, I'm doing my alone time. Help me, Jesus. I'm doing my alone time. I normally don't do my personal development first thing in the morning. If I could just be honest, my mornings are for my spiritual development. Um, and then I normally do my personal development after my first few meetings, normally around like 10 or so is when I get into my personal development. I'm either reading a book or I am doing, um, there's so many different ways to do personal development. There is never a month that goes by that I am not reading a physical book um, or have an audible that is popping for me, right, personally. And then um, I can do like YouTubes, like you heard the Eric Thomas at the beginning, things that are just filling me up, where it's shifting my mindset, how I'm thinking, how I'm growing. Then I'm going to come over here. When I finally start my day, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to post. I kind of look at my page. If you have not went through the extra sauce in the launch pad, it's a guide called extra sauce in the launch pad. It's after you get done with your color and you go back to the main page. It tells you to go back to the main page and you do the extra sauce. I guess I could show you guys. Um, so if you come back, click guides and you go down to the extra sauce, you will see all of these things. And let me tell you, this stuff is important. It's, it's important, it, period. It's important. So you come through here and you'll learn about your top five I think on task, see people ask, okay, how do I get my shopping spree? It's right here. You just haven't utilized all your resources. So go through all of this. And then you come here to um, choosing your top five. This is important. And this is how I go through posting every single day, guys. This is this is the gist of my posting. I'm, I'm either posting about marriage, motherhood, Jesus, empowering others, or my fitness, right? And so it takes you through what personal posts look like, product posts look like, before and afters, lifestyle posts, and then business posts, right? Um, it takes, and it gives you all kinds of tips right through here. So if you're, you're worried about posting or whatever, um, even time frames or whatever, this helps you with that. So you want to go through that. 
Um, it talks about enhancing pictures. I, I enhance my pictures before I post them. Why? Because we work a social media business. It is worth it. I wipe my camera before I take pictures every single time. Like it's, it's important. I need good pictures. Um, Zoom etiquette. Okay. So it takes you through all that. So anyways, so I come over here to my page and I'm looking, okay, I did a product post. We had Filter Friday. So that's kind of like my, my motherhood right there. This was an opportunity post here, um, another opportunity post back to back. And so I can come here and decide I'm going to do, um, let's do, I don't know where I posted from this morning. Hold on, I'm gonna do a quote real quick. Um, hold on, y'all. Oh man. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to utilize the post that I actually made on um, Instagram this morning. So I'll show you guys that. So on Instagram this morning, I made a post. So I'm literally gonna come over here and grab the words from this post. Copy, cancel, come over here to Facebook. And I'm gonna give this, you don't just share it to Instagram because I mean, to Facebook because um, of the algorithm. So you don't want to share posts, but you can share stories. Um, so I'm just going to post this to get me a post going for the day. I'm going to make sure my stories have something in it. But normally I would just add to my stories, but I'm going to see what's the last thing. So I have a business post in here already. So I could come and add me a... Um, um, Uh, hold on, y'all. Add me a slides. So some type of product post to my stories, which I'm going to do that. I'm going to go grab some product stories. So I can go either, if you don't have any, you can go save some or whatever, or um, if you do save things from Pinterest, they do pop up on, um, on here. And if y'all didn't know, Instagram actually, well, if you have your settings on, it'll save your, um, your videos and stuff if you have that on there. So I'm gonna show you guys this. So I'm coming here. This is how I work my day. So I'm already started, so I got one post up. So I would be able to come over to my, um, I did put up today's day. What's today? The fifth. Okay. So starting one for the fifth, the way through the, um, my receipts and I would be able to mark off that I posted one. And so now this is just things I saved from, um, from Pinterest. And so I would be able to come through here and kind of save see where, what I could post for the day. Um, I need to go save some more stuff, huh? Clearly. So I'm gonna come through and grab something real quick because I wanna do a product one. Um, what am I gonna grab? Let's grab this one. Who needs a two day cleanse? Doom, doom, and I'm gonna come through here, and I'm actually going to change this picture um, to a cleanse picture that is of color. So I'm gonna come here and grab a cleanse picture from somebody. Who did a cleanse? She did a cleanse. Oh, that's me. Right? So 
that. And then I always want to come through and put a poll, even though it says swipe up and type cleanse. Two forms of yes. Coming through here so they can still click it. And then that's four slides. So I'm gonna mark off, I'm gonna mark off four more of my check marks. So now I have five posts already to my page. And so now I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna begin my messages. And I'm gonna start with my follow-ups. I'm gonna start, guys, from my conversations. Yesterday was Friday. So I'm gonna start with yesterday. So I'm gonna start here and then um. Well, I told her she had to accept my firm. Oh, she did. So let's see if she posted it. She didn't. And so I'm going to come through and I'm going to use the follow up, the follow ups over here, extra juice follow ups. And I'm going to come over here and host the post, haven't posted. And so I'm going to ask her, hey, I didn't see it. Um, and then I'm literally going to go, she didn't open up my post. Okay, that's actually my loyal customer, so I'm going to skip over her. And she is hasn't responded to me, and so I'm actually going to hit her with the did I offend you right there, ask what questions did she have. She didn't see it, and so I'm actually going to come over here and give her the general follow-up. Um, like I said, if you guys have questions as I'm going through this, please ask them in the comments. Um, and we will write you right back. So that's my general follow-up right there. As you guys can see, she hasn't seen my message. Um, so she is active. So what I might do is come through. Y'all pray to God, this ain't ratchet. Okay. Just, I'm assuming she worked out, right? Yeah, she worked out. Getting it in. Because this is actually going to go to our her inbox, right? Y'all see that? So it goes in the inbox. So it makes her go and look in the inbox. Okay. So if they have stuff on their stories, um, so like him, I would give a general follow up. Hey, happy Saturday. Just checking back in. This one right here. Um, I'm gonna come here. And if y'all don't know, if you go to the Money Squad page and you go to business and then go to application, which is what I sent him. I mean, her, I can click the follow up and it says, hey there, didn't see your application come through. Do you have any questions? So that's a follow up right there. This person, she hasn't seen it. Um, I'm gonna let that one go for right now. Same for this one, follow up. That same through. So coming through, did she miss the post? Um, she didn't reply back to me. I could be nice and just clean it happy Saturday or I could actually send her the did I offend you, right? Um, it depends on what form you're using, Jokel. What form are you using? That's that's the question. Here, checking in. She did not respond to me. And so I'm coming straight up with the gung-ho and asking, did I offend her? Come here. I'm just going to say happy Saturday. Just checking in. Y'all, I have no idea if these people are replying to me because my phone is on do not disturb. I don't care right now. I'm just going through and I'm doing my follow-ups. So now I can mark off my, my 50 follow-ups. Do y'all get what I'm saying? All right, so coming through here. Um, oh, this is a girl supposed to sign up as um, she was active 10 hours ago. Um, she hasn't been that active on Facebook. Um, so I'm just gonna say this, see if I can get her to open up her messages. Um, and then I asked her if she's interested in making extra income. She didn't reply. So I'm going to ask, did, I, did she offend, offend her? Offend, did I offend her? Um, okay. Now y'all can sit here and just watch me do this, but that hopefully just that little moment kind of helps you guys how I work through it. I still haven't went to go see if anybody replied to me. I work my business. I work my business. My business does not work me. Do y'all get that? Work your business. Do not allow your business to work you. Does that make sense? You control the pace. Then people ain't going nowhere. What, what Brittany, Brittany say? She said if they was one to lose 50 pounds yesterday, they didn't lose 50 pounds overnight. 
they still fat. They need to lose the weight. Maybe not fat, you know, just need to lose weight. <laughs> we ain't gonna say that. We don't like that word. Did everybody get that? Yes. So this is what I want you to walk away from here doing, okay? How do you swim? You post, you message, you follow up, you do your spiritual and personal development. If you do not know what personal development to be doing, your first thing is GoPro by Eric Worre. And then after that, talk to your upline. You are going to have to ask for help. You're supposed to ask for help. His grace is sufficient for you. His grace is sufficient for us all. There is no, that when I say this business is so graceful, you have to allow yourself to fig the time to figure it out. You will not be an expert at day one. You won't. And you have to ask for help, maybe even six months down the line. You guys, I have people who've been in this business forever that still send screenshots because it's, it's perspective. It's important to understand and be able to see perspective. You are never like to, especially if you on here, you still within your first year, send screenshots. Unless it's something that you've encountered before, send the screenshot. Stop hesitating. Send the screenshot. And like I told one of my girls, I said, you ain't got to worry about it. You send me a screenshot and I know you know what to say. I'm going to say, you know what to say back to that. And she just smiled and gave herself away. <laughs> That's so funny. I say, I'm, I'm going to say it. That's how somebody coaches. If somebody is uncertain, that's their moment to empower them. And it's crazy. I have some people who send in and be like, hey, such and such. And it'd be like, oh, hey, you know what? You, you're right. That's right. Like, this is what I think I'm supposed to say back to this, but I just want to make sure. And so the next time she encounters that, she's not going to ask because she has that exact she has an example example of what it is that's said and what needs to be said back. But if you're hesitating, you're wasting time. Send the screenshot. You know what I'm saying? Just send it. Just send it. Be like, I'm hesitating. Can you help me with this? So that your upline can point you in the right direction. That's what we are. We're corners. Ask for help, y'all. Ask for help. Be okay asking for help. I am okay. Praise the Lord. My husband's mom is coming over here to help me with my kids. Thank you, Jesus, for the vaccine. Okay. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And that's just my personal opinion. Okay. I'm not pushing down anybody. But I'm praise the Lord. I'm, I'm grateful for the help over here. I'm okay with it. So be okay with some help. Because if she wants to, she can take them every Saturday. All right. They are, they are open. They are open. Praise them. So if somebody's trying to help me with something and I know they love me, then let me go ahead and, and so we love you, okay? And we're gonna get off here because we over time. We love you. We love you with the love of the Lord. And that's actually the best love that there can be on this planet. And if you ain't never experienced his love, keep hanging around us and you will get to know what it really looks like. Because if I can be honest with y'all, I didn't know what love really was before I came to It Works. I'm gonna be real. Like it, I did not know. My love was fabricated based on my life. Does anybody get that? Drop a one in the comments if your love is fabricated based on what you know from life. Yes, it's what your mama taught you. It's what your daddy did. It's how they treated you. It's the relationship that you were in. And like a lot of that is misconstrued. I, I, my love was misconstrued. It was misconstrued. My, my stepdad beat my mom. Like my, he was negligent. He ended up cheating on my mom, but my mom was so obsessed with him that she barely paid attention to us. Like it was, it was all over the place. My, my idea of love was a hot mess. It was a hot mess. I tr attributed love to only spending time together. So that means if I'm not with people, that means that they don't love me. Like it was such a hot mess. So if you keep hanging around us, y'all, we have, we are literally ambassadors for Christ by way of it works. And so that his grace is sufficient. So stop trying to quit and just keep coming around so that you can figure it out. Because if you're struggling, you're probably here to help somebody else who is struggling, just like you. So that's my spiel. Who walking away from, do you, do you know how to swim? Just, do you know how to swim? Tell me, tell me if you have learned how to swim today. Have you learned how to swim? Who's learned how to swim today? Who actually this? 
Who going swimming? Who going to just keep swimming? Say me in the comments if you're going to just keep swimming because now you know how to swim. It is repetitious, y'all. It is. It is. It is. But let me tell you what. If you keep doing it, it won't be boring because people not boring. You're going to encounter new people every single day. And sometimes, I ain't going to lie, we be on these calls cracking up. Cracking up. Because the stuff that people say back, keep it entertaining. It just, I be entertained every day, all day. And I have my feelings entertained. It just be like, really? Like, really? And then it helps us get better. It helps us become better because now we figure out, oh, is that how people think? Like, okay, let's let's switch it up a little bit because this is a uh, mess. What she just say that? Like, I, we gonna lie. If y'all have encountered with the tummy trio, when you send them, which area of your stomach do you want to work on? And then they be like, my stomach... <laughs> It's funny. So you will be entertained. Like for real. We've gotten that so many times. Like my stomach, it'd be like, oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Hilarious. Okay, we get it. We get it. So come on, come into the circle. Be great. Do great things. Earn that shopping spree. Earn the hundred dollars. We got a new schedule coming out this week for our newbies to jump into. We got a study hall coming up this week. It's gonna be great, guys. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. All right, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, God, we just love you. We honor you. We adore you. God, I'm just grateful for this new squad. The old, all that came together today, God, we're praying that the seeds that were laid today, that hearts and minds were clear enough to be able to grasp what it is that was shared here today and that it's actually implemented. Not that it's just gotten, not that it's received, but the implementation and the action comes after. So God, we just praise you for the release of feelings when it comes to helping people that we just do it we do our work and we do it unto you god i just pray that every seed that they put in the ground that they receive a harvest no matter if it's in that same place god give them the harvest that they're expecting god shopping sprees i decree and declare those who have made up their mind those who are determined to send the messages and get it, that it's theirs. God, I decree and declare those who have made up their minds starting today that they are getting that $100 cash bonus, God. my I just touch and agree right now that it is theirs. And so, God, those who have decided they're going Ruby this month, they're going executive this month, they're going Emerald or whatever, they're going after that $5,000 bonus that is on the table for them. God, I just touch and agree that it is so. So, God, we just praise you, we thank you, and we honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Happy Saturday, friends.